right. Like to say good evening. Awesome, awesome. Now, come on now. You're more, more excited than that. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Mike Davis. I'm the Interim Deputy Director of Economic Development for the City of Jackson. And we're here today to, to really just celebrate, right? We're here to celebrate. So when Mayor Yarber came into office, he charged the Office of Economic Development to do something more creative that will get us engaged with the business community. Uh, from our outreach um, efforts. So we came up with an idea to say, well, let's go out and celebrate those businesses that have shown themselves to be worthy to be celebrated. And from what I'm told by the young people, about the people that I've met here, talk about this great, awesome facility. Now, we knew it already, <laughs> but when we came in, everybody's excited. So that's what we did. We created a program called Business of the Quarter. And I'm not going to steal the mayor's thunder, but I want to bring him up so that he can uh, celebrate along with you all. So at this time, Mayor Yaw. Hey, well, great day, everybody. Y'all doing all right? Good. All right, well, it's all right. Y'all can smile. I'll show your teeth. Right. They say uh, that's a couple things I learned, and that is you might not have a chance tomorrow. And so as long as you got a chance today, you might as well show your teeth, baby. And the other thing is that they say that it is a poor dog that won't wag its own tail. Is that right? <laughs> so today, what we're doing is we are here to celebrate. It's our wagging our own tail to celebrate an amazing business in the city of Jackson. Uh, just, just a little bit, a few days over three years ago, uh, I came into this facility. I was running for mayor. I think I lost at that time about 30 pounds. Uh, so I probably was weighing about 170 pounds wet. Uh, it was rough, <laughs> and uh, since then I've gained that back plus about 20 more. Um, but we walked into this facility, and the staff, not just the staff, but the people that I met who were here as they were beginning to establish themselves as one of the leading uh, uh, facilities and centers like this, not just in the city, but in the state of Mississippi, uh, we knew that something special was happening, and we knew that there was something you know, that was going to take place in this spot. Um, that would make it one of the premier uh, facilities in the state of Mississippi. So once I became mayor, you weren't here, but I came back. And uh, I just popped in, uh, met some of the young ladies who were at the front, asking questions, being nosy. I didn't have my uniform on. I just had on some regular jeans and a shirt, and I was just acting like I was looking for a place for my parent to come. And that same level of excellence that I saw on that first day that I came was the same level of excellence that I saw when, we came, when I came back uh, just trying to play a little undercover box. That day. <laughs> so today we come to celebrate Harmony Court for uh, what we have called as a part of the vision of the city of Jackson. As a, as a part of that vision, the last uh, uh, component of, of, in our vision statement says, well, we will lead and model. Y'all hear what I'm telling you? Lead and model. What that simply means is that we're going to be the standard bearers. We're going to set the standard, and then we're going to bear the standard. We've got examples of, uh, uh, examples of standard bearers right here in this room right now. We've got members of the Jackson Fire Department who are here. Y'all celebrate them. Um, they are your standard bearers uh, as it relates to public safety because they are the number one fire station, fire department, rather, in the state of Mississippi. That's not an opinion. The data says that. You all represent the best of what this city offers. You all offer the best of exactly who we are. You hear a lot of stuff that's wrong with the city. People talk about things that's wrong. There's stuff been wrong with this city since before I got here. Uh, you hear about streets, and you hear about roads, and you hear about ditches. Uh, I tell people all the time, when I was uh, in elementary school, I used to go up to Westside Community Center with my grandmother. And we would go, and the mayor at that time would come in, and the people would clap and celebrate them, and they would complain about three things. They, they complain about ditches, dogs, and the streets. <laughs> and now when I go into meetings some 30-some years later, guess what everybody complaining about? The ditches and the streets. We got the dogs about taken care of. <laughs> But we're still complaining about the same thing. What am I saying? I'm saying that if we're going to move beyond that, it's going to take businesses like this who provide the example, residents, those of you who are employed here, who provide an example of excellence to be able to move that example out into the community so that Jackson becomes exactly what we know that it has an opportunity to be. 
So I'm simply here. I'm not even, uh, you know, certain times you don't even have to campaign. Everybody knows I'm running again, but stuff like this you don't have to campaign on. All you got to do is show up and show what we show up, and as they say, show out. <laughs> and so today we came to show up to allow you to show yourselves off on what an amazing place Harmony Court is as we celebrate you as the bold business of the quarter for April 2017. We want to celebrate you all today. Now, y'all know who really runs stuff up here, right? Uh, and he had sense enough to stand back <laughs> until she walked up, right? They call that knowing your place. <laughs> so thank you all so much. I want to celebrate you and give this to you. Uh, thank you for being a part of uh, this growing, thriving city. And we need more people like you here. And you give us the opportunity to brag to business owners to let them know that it is a worthwhile investment. And you show that every day. Can y'all celebrate them as they have words? Well, she know I'm long-winded, definitely, so I'll make this short and sweet for everybody, but I really appreciate everybody coming out. And first of all, I want to thank the city of Jackson for everything that they have done for us, uh, especially starting out, um, laying the foundation for us, helping out and helping getting this place started. Um, without them, the team that they put in place, it definitely would have been a truly slow start, but um, a great team that they had in place to see the vision that we was trying to um, implement and um, get on board with it. So here we are now, like you said, you know, three and a half years later, um, here we are. And I'm glad to say that with a true strong team with Harmony Court, as far as the, the staff and residents, um, we've been able to make this a true home. So that's really important for me and the vision that we have, especially with our mission, making sure that everyone was safe and comfortable with a relaxed environment where everybody can call the place home. So thank you everybody and um, definitely the staff um, and the team here for everything that you all do. All the hard work, the dedication, sacrificing, everything that you all do. It definitely don't go unnoticed and I just want to say thank you from my heart because here we are now as a whole receiving this wonderful honor from the mayor and the city of Jackson. and. Um, we are all truly thankful. Thank you. Now the boss will have words. <laughs> um, well, my husband has covered pretty much everything. I, I definitely want to um, thank the higher power, which is the Lord who has delivered us to this place. Um, but again, I want to thank my staff and all the residents who actually live here because we do enjoy having you a part of Harmony Court on a daily, daily, daily. Our mission is to serve. And by serving you, we are truly blessed. And I know my staff feel that as well. So thanks to the mayor and the city of Jackson. We really, really appreciate that. And um, hopefully we will continue to grow. And I'm sure with all the lovely um, people here that encourages us and um, continue to um, push us to move to our next facility. Definitely city of Jackson, look forward to it. Thank you.